Hello guys and welcome to our channel Crazy Ladies. Today we're going to show you how to make kinetic sand. For the past couple of days Bob and I was trying to make a kinetic sand. And let me tell you something, without knowing the formula it's really hard to make a kinetic sand. And who knows best of how to make the kinetic sand? Chinese. But of course, we've created a three ways of how to make the kinetic sand from the stuff that was freely laying around our house. Stuff like chewing gum, glue, uh, cornstarch, water in sand of course, some easy stuff to get, okay? We also decided to paint our sand in three different colors for you to better understand. Yellow, blue and red. So check it out. Alright, so first Get a water-based paint in one of those dollar shops, dissolve it in water and paint the sand. Let it dry and that's it. I mean, there's no rocket science here. Just paint the sand, okay? When the sand dries, you're gonna need to mix it with the cornstarch. The proportions are three parts of sand, two parts of cornstarch and one part of water. Before you put any water in there, you need to mix it well with the, you know, the sand and the coarse starch and use this whisk, is the best way to mix it, okay? Now when you're done doing that, add some water. Now, in my opinion, this is the closest kinetic sand to the original, okay? I mean, it holds the shape it, you, I mean, you can, you can do anything with it, basically, okay? But it doesn't look like a kinetic sand, alright? It looks like dough. So if you ask me again, that's the best way of, uh, you know, doing something with it. But it doesn't look like kinetic sand again, okay? So, it's up to you guys. Now, the next way to, to make the kinetic sand is to uh, mix sand with this stuff. This stuff is a clear water-based glue mixed with boric alcohol. I don't know, we got that from the local pharmacy. You can uh, search that on the internet or get it in the pharmacy. It's easy, okay? Mix that together before you mix it with the sand. It looks like a slime, okay? So, mix that slime with the sand, mix it well, and this is what you got. It does look like uh, kinetic sand, more or less, right? But it doesn't hold the shape, so it doesn't work like a kinetic sand, really. So, again, it's up to you. I mean, it holds the shape for a little bit, then it falls apart, okay? But again, it looks like a kinetic sand, all right? Next experiment, we mix the chewing gum with the sand. And to do that, we soak that chewing gum in, in warm water first and start mixing it. Let me tell you, it's hard, all right? You need to mix it like a dough, mixing in the sand, all right? Put some more sand, mix it more. Put some more sand, mix it more, and so on and so on, all right? Until you get something like that. That definitely look like a kinetic sand, okay? But it's not holding a shape. You can't do anything with it, okay? It's just not holding the shape. It's, it's falling apart, okay? But it looks like a kinetic sand. So there you have it. Three ways of making a kinetic sand. Now, I don't know about kinetic sand, but this painted sand over here makes a beautiful decoration for your house. You drop a candle in there, and it's going to be a perfect addition to your romantic dinner. And that's it for today. If you have any comments, drop us a line. Likes are really appreciated. 
and of course, if you like our channel, subscribe. Bob and I are thank you for watching, and until next time, take care and be good.